You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. You will find the TRW brake discs and pads used in the video by clicking on the link in the description. Turn your engine off, pull up the handbrake, pull on the bonnet release lever, and open the bonnet. Open the brake fluid reservoir. Loosen the rear wheel studs. Lift the rear of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on the axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising Your Vehicle Safely before carrying out this step. To change the rear brake pads on your vehicle, you'll need to remove the wheels to gain full access. Don't forget to slide the wheels under the vehicle. Before starting, release the handbrake, otherwise the operation will be impossible. Loosen the brake caliper. To do this, use a 13mm spanner as well as a 15mm spanner and remove the slide pins. Prepare a stable raised area so that the caliper can be placed once it's been released. Using the large flathead screwdriver, release the brake caliper from its support. Remove the caliper. Remove the pads. You can slip them off by pushing them away from the disc. You can use a screwdriver to help you. With a flathead screwdriver, remove the noise dampening shims. Depending on the state of the bolts on the brake caliper mount, it may be necessary to use a hammer to loosen them. Using a socket wrench and a T50 torque socket, loosen the screws on the brake caliper mount. Remove the screws. And take the brake caliper mount off. Using a hammer and a chisel, remove the cover from the hub. Then, using a breaker bar and a 36mm socket, unscrew the nut from the hub. Finally, remove the disc. Clean the axis that the disc was mounted on using brake cleaner and a piece of tissue. You can also clean the ABS sensor with a brass brush so as not to demagnetize the sensor magnet. Put the piston back. For this movement, you must have a brake caliper wind back tool. This is a specific tool that will make it possible to wind the piston back, but also to have it turn on itself to reset the self adjusting system on your handbrake. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. You will find the TRW parts and products used in the video in the link in the description. Before putting the new disc in place, it is vital to clean it using brake cleaner and paper towels to take off the storage paraffin. If your new disc is painted, you can place it directly onto the wheel hub. Take the new brake disc. Place the new disc in place. Be careful as this disc model has an integrated wheel bearing. Now you can put the nut back on the hub. You have to tighten it as well. Start the process off with a socket wrench. and then finish off the process with a torque wrench. 
secure the hopknot with a hammer and chisel. Then refit the nut cover using a socket of the same diameter so as not to damage it. Using a wire brush, clean the edges of the brake caliper mount where the pads run. Reassemble the brake caliper mount once again, starting the screwing process by hand. And finishing with a socket wrench and a T50 torque socket to fix them in place. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Get the noise dampening shims supplied in the kit. Place the new noise dampening shims on the caliper. Take the new brake pads. Insert the new pads into the caliper mount, sliding them into place. Position the brake springs parallel to the brakes themselves. You need to check the proper sliding of the slide pins and the condition of the protective rubbers. If they show evidence of wear, it is advisable to replace them with new ones. Put the brake caliper back in place and screw in the slide pins. Don't forget to use the new screws that come with the pack as they have been pre-coated with thread locking fluid. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Clean the discs with brake cleaner and a piece of tissue to remove the grease deposited when installing the new pads. You can now repeat the operation on the other side. Put the wheels of your vehicle back on and lower it to the ground. Before starting your car, don't forget to screw the brake fluid stopper back in. Be careful, before using your vehicle again, start your car and pump the brake pedal a few times to bring the brake pads together again. Try to drive smoothly and avoid sudden braking for the first 50 kilometers or so to avoid glazing the new pads. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Tool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.